everyone, it's week two of classes, and today I wanted to make a scale warm-up video um, for you guys to demonstrate different articulations and bowings that you can practice with scales that you already know. Um, so the first one that I want us to work on is D major, and so this one we're going to really pay attention to the way that we shift, making sure that um, when we shift, our whole hand moves together, so your thumb and index finger, they'll lead the shift, and you always want to shift on um, the old finger. And we're going to learn three kinds of bowing articulations today, or we're going to re-emphasize three of them. And the first is just a simple legato um, bow, so make sure that you're tuned, that's the most important thing. But the legato bow, you really want to have a nice relaxed forearm so that your bowings, the bow changes are really connected and smooth. Why don't you go ahead and pause the video now and try the legato smooth bow um, for yourself on D major. The second bowing, the second articulation we're going to do is a marcato bowing. And this one involves you placing the bow on the string, starting the sound from the string with a little bit of pressure and a quicker bow speed so that each note is um, speaks really clearly and there is some separation in between the notes. It'll sound something like this. practicing these different uh, bow strokes, you always want to make sure that your bow hold is correct. So you're going to want to make sure that your, your violin is nice and flat, is nice and high, and your strokes carry and follow through. Um, make sure that your thumb and your pinky are both bent. That's going to ensure that you're able to do these strokes really well. And especially with the marcato stroke that I just did, it's almost like you're putting an accent on each note. Um, and if you want, you can use a little bit of pressure from your index finger to really push and pull that sound out, okay? So why don't you go ahead, pause the video now, and try the marcato stroke. Okay. The third stroke, oh, I'm sorry, there's a part two of the marcato stroke, and that's starting from the frog and the tip. And so this one, it'll be the same stroke, same pressure, and then pulling, but we're going to do it at the frog and at the tip. So this one, I um, suggest that you take a little bit more time to really set up your bow, um, to make sure that it's placed well on the string before you um, actually uh, press down, okay? Um, so with this one, you're going to start right at the frog, then you're going to go to the tip shoot back to the frog. Now, if you notice when I did that bowing, I really took my time to place my bow at the tip before I, before I moved the bow. So now you can pause the video and you can try both marcato styles. Try 
just in the middle of the bow, the first one I did, and then try the one going from the frog to the tip. Okay? Go ahead. All right, the last um, bowing articulation that we're going to do for our scales is slurs. Okay? So we're going to slur two notes uh, up and down the whole scale, making sure that the notes are really even. You might want to count yourself off before you start. That might help. So maybe one and two and three and four and. <laughs> Pause the video now and try that on your own. Okay, hopefully that went really well. And if you feel like you want to do a more advanced bowing, you can try doing three or even four notes to a bow. Here's four notes. Each scale that I did, I did not repeat the top note, and I just went from the bottom all the way to the top and came back. So if you do three notes, then you'll it won't be complete. The notes won't be completely divided into three, uh, but you just do um, what you can at the end. Okay, so three notes triplets would be this. I just added an extra D when I finished, and that's totally fine. Okay? All right, happy practicing your scales, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!